Despite our best efforts, some musicians still use paper charts, just like these. So what do you do if you use Onsong and want to bring these charts you've been handed into your app? You can use our document scanner. To do this, simply tap on songs and then tap on the lower right corner to add more songs and choose scan with camera. Make sure you remove any case and lift it up to access the rear camera on your device. Place your document in the middle of a flat table, usually with a dark background works best, and hold still. OnSong will automatically detect that a page is present and you can switch the next page and continue. This document is a couple pages long, so we're just gonna take a picture of every page. When we're all done, we can preview by tapping on the buttons in the lower section of the screen. You can also crop those images a little bit differently for the best result. For instance, if we wanna remove some of this and change the way it looks, we can do some tweaks to that as well. When we're all done, we can tap done and hit the save button in the lower right corner. Now we can give our document a name and hit import. OnSong then imports our PDF file and allows us to review it and view it inside of the song viewer. Now this is really a picture of a piece of paper and so you might not be completely impressed with the uh, features or quality of the document. For instance, you can't transpose, you can't make the fonts bigger, things like that. I'm gonna show you how you can convert this image of a chord chart into text using the attachments menu. Let's tap on the attachments menu by tapping on this button in the menu part. Here you can see a PDF file. I can convert it to text by tapping and holding on it and choosing extract text. This will now create a new copy of my file as a text document. Once it's extracted, I can tap on it to view. Now you can see it's not perfect. So we can open our song editor by again, tapping on the attachments menu and hitting edit chords and lyrics. Here we could do things like move this key down to a metadata tag that OnSong understands, like that. I might also want to put in my BPM. And I could even add my time signature here like this. While I was editing, I did remove the artist, so I'm gonna make that the second line. And now I can review the rest of it and see that it has done a good job at reading the text. There, now I can come into my chart and transpose it to a different key and even make formatting changes. I hope that shows you how easy it is to import documents that are on paper directly into your OnSong and then convert them into a digital chart. If you have any questions, please be sure to contact us.